Hey my skysavers, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. I'm Kim and this is World of Sky, a world for women and moms talking all things money. Saving money, making money, and managing your money. And today you guys we are talking about credit. You know the thing that you can't really see but it definitely impacts how you're able to kind of move around in this world. So we'll talk about what is credit, why you need it, and why you should protect your credit, etc, etc. All those different things we're going to talk about in this video. So this is going to kind of be like a credit series. Um, I don't know how many parts will be in this series, but credit is kind of complex, you know? Um, and so I don't want to throw everything in one video. I want to break it up. We're going to dive deep into each single category regarding credit to make sure that you're understanding it so that you can use the tips and the knowledge to help you start building credit or start repairing your credit or just be informed on what you're actually being measured on and how you're being measured. So some of the other topics will be FICO scores or your credit scores. We're going to go deep into that one. We'll also talk about how to build credit if you're new to this credit game. We'll talk about how to rebuild your credit if you've had um, some challenges in the past and what you can do to make improvements. We'll talk about the best credit cards for those with bad credit. We'll talk about myths about credit. So much more. We're going to talk about a lot of different things. But today we're going to talk about the basics. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, trust me guys, this series is going to help you out. Before we jump into it, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell. So as I am releasing these videos that are part of this credit series, you're not missing them, okay? You don't want to miss them. And each video is going to build on to the next. Um, so hope you guys find it helpful. Let's go ahead and jump into the credit basics. So the first question is, what is credit? What is it? Simply put, it is your ability to borrow money with the understanding that you need to pay that money back later. So your credit is the confidence that creditors trust you to pay back what you have borrowed from them in addition to any finance or interest charges. Okay, so let's look at it this way. Okay, so we all have family or friends that may have asked to borrow money in the past or they may ask you to borrow money in the future. Sound familiar? I'm sure most of us have experienced that. Now, in your mind, think of when that person asks you, you're going to have one of two thoughts. The first thought is, yes, they can borrow the money because I know that they'll pay it back. The second thought may be something more along the lines of, hell no, I know they're not going to pay me my money back. Y'all, that's credit. In that example that I just gave, you are the creditor. You are the lender. You're, and your family member or your friend is the borrower. And you are deciding if you feel like they are trustworthy for you to lend them the money. This is the same process that creditors go through to determine if they're going to lend money to you. Yes, it's a little bit more complex, but that is the gist of how it works. I hope that makes sense on what credit is. Sometimes it can be overwhelming and there are so many parts to credit and, and it is, it is complex. However, if you think of it like that in those simple terms, it makes it much easier to comprehend. So the second thing we'll talk about is how does credit work? So lenders will decide to lend to you based on your credit history, okay? Your credit history. So that is your previous record of you borrowing and repaying funds, okay? So did you take out a loan? Did you repay it? Did you have a credit card balance? Did you repay it? That is your credit history. Now, your credit history is found in credit reports. So this is similar to your report card in school. It tells us how you've been doing. So your credit report is your history of your borrowing and repayment activity, okay? So how have you been doing with that? In the U.S., there are three. There are three independent credit bureaus. They are Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Think of the credit bureaus as the grading system or the grading computer at school. So all your different teachers, right, all your different teachers are putting in grades and information into that grading system and reporting your history into that system. The credit bureaus are kind of like the system and then what comes out of there are your credit reports and those are like your report cards. The credit bureau takes all the information that they get and they compile it into one report, okay? And each separate credit bureau does this. So Equifax does it, TransUnion does it, and Experian does the same process. So you might be asking, where is this information coming from that's coming into the credit bureaus? Well, it comes from a lot of different places. It can come from your bank, your credit union, it can come from credit card issuers, it can come from a mortgage company, it can come from anywhere where the creditors voluntarily send your information in to the credit bureaus. From there, the credit bureaus take that information and they compile it into a report. So remember, write this down, there are three different credit bureaus. 
You have Experian, you have TransUnion, and you have Equifax. Write that down. And also stick around till the end of the video. I'm gonna tell you where you can get a free, yes I said, a free credit report. If you have learned something thus far in this video that you found helpful, informative, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Okay, so now let's talk about what's actually on your credit report, okay? They're telling all your business. They're telling all your business, so let's see what they're telling. It can include the number of credit cards you have as well as what your credit limit is and any outstanding balances that you have. It can also include the amount of any loans that you have. So a home loan, a car loan, student loans, personal loans. It can say how much you've taken out and also will reflect how much you've paid back. It also includes whether your monthly payments each month were made on time, were you paying them late, did you miss them all together. And also, lastly, it could include any severe issues such as foreclosure, bankruptcy, and repossession. Okay, so those are the things that are included on your report. And from there, each credit bureau will then assign you a three-digit number. And this is called your credit score, or in the U.S., commonly referred as your FICO score. So they look at all the information, on your report, they do a statistical analysis of all the data and the information, and they determine your credit score. Your credit score is typically the first thing that creditors will look at in determining if they will or will not lend you money. There are different models in how the number is calculated. Each credit bureau is different, but one thing remains the same. Those with better credit history will be assigned a higher credit score. I will do, I am going to do an entire video about credit scores, FICO scores, and we are going to go deep into them so you can understand what's included, how you can make an impact, how you can mess yourself up, okay? So we will talk about that in a lot more detail in the next video. Now, let's talk about the things that you actually need credit for. If you're a renter, your landlord is likely going to request to pull your credit. If you're trying to purchase a home, you need credit. If you need to purchase a car, you need credit. Insurance companies pull credit, and that is a deciding factor in your insurance rates. Utility companies will pull your credit for gas service or electric service or your cell phone. Jobs, like a lot of jobs are pulling credit. It could be your dream job. They may request to pull your credit, and they may decide not to offer you your dream job if your credit is not at a certain threshold. And just light, just light, you guys, you're gonna need your credit throughout your entire life. Unless you're a millionaire, you know, then don't worry about it, click off this video. But if you're not, you need your credit for like everything. It's really, really important to understand it. It's really, really important to protect it. And please, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're finding it helpful. Now, let's talk about the three types of credit that are available and that are reported on your credit report. The first one is revolving credit. This is when you are given a maximum borrowing or spending limit. Most credit cards count as revolving credit. So that's when you see like your credit limit is $500 or $1,000 or $5,000. That indicates that it is a revolving piece of credit. And on revolving credit, you must make at least the minimum payment every single month. If you decide to pay any other amount besides the full balance on your revolving credit, you will carry forward the remainder of your balance or you will revolve the debt. That's where the name comes from. The second type of credit is installment credit. This is a loan for a specific amount of money that you agree to repay with interest and fees. So you will pay back equal monthly payments or installments over a set period of time. So examples of installment credit are things like student loans, car loans, mortgages, right? So maybe your car note is $300 every single month. It's that same amount every single month and maybe you took out a loan for four years, five years, Whatever it is, there's a set period of time tied to that. And the last type of credit that is reported on your credit report is service credit. Contracts with service providers like gas and electric companies, cable and internet providers, and cell phone companies. So these companies are providing you services with the agreement and the understanding that you are going to pay them back after the fact, okay? So they will provide you with the service, the heat, the electricity, the cell phone, the internet, and then you need to pay them back. There is that understanding. Now, with this type of credit, it may or may not be reported to each one of those credit bureaus. It may only be reported to some of them and not others, but the service credit can vary. Okay, so we talked about a lot. We talked about a lot in this video, and you're like, okay, what am I supposed to do with all this information? Good question. You know, I got you. You need to go and pull your credit report from each of the credit bureaus. Okay, so TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And it's free, you guys. It's free to do 
once a year you can do it for free so this is something that you want to make sure that you're doing every single year make it a habit okay it needs to be something that you're checking every year tie it to an important date so maybe you can do it at the top of the year every single year maybe you want to pull your credit reports um, around your birthday or whatever a special milestone is going on throughout your life in the year tie it to that date pull your credit reports every single year you can pull your credit report at annualcreditreport.com right here and i also will leave the link to their site down below after you have pulled your credit report look for these things number one make sure you recognize all of the accounts that are listed on your report make sure that it was you that actually opened that account and that there was no fraudulent activity if you find accounts on your credit report that you know that you didn't open you don't remember opening them make sure that you dispute them um, you can try disputing them with the lender or the creditor first or you can try disputing them with the credit bureau itself. Either way, if you see something on there that ain't supposed to be there, dispute it and get it removed. Having things on your credit report that weren't you and they're not reflecting your credit history is not what you want. You want every single thing on that credit report to be accurate. The second thing that you wanna do is make sure the account status info is correct on each account. So is it open, is it closed? make sure that it is reflecting properly. Again, if there are any discrepancies, contact the lender and have them update that information. And the last thing that you wanna do is make sure that the numbers are making sense, okay? So make sure that your credit limits are reporting correctly. Um, if you have a balance on your car loan, make sure that it's reporting correctly. Now, there may be a lag, right, because it's not instantaneous. When you're making payments, it's not like you make a payment, your credit report updates that quickly um, there is a lag time but make sure that it's close but if it's showing that you're owing three thousand more than you thought that you owed that's an issue contact your creditor contact the credit bureaus and get it updated okay so that is your homework after watching this video go and do that it is free there's no excuses on why you cannot pull and review your credit report you need to know where you stand and you also need to know that the information being reported is accurate so in the next video, we're going to jump into, like I said, those credit scores, those FICO scores, what they mean, what's good, what's bad. We'll talk about all of that in the next video. Before you go, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that little notification bell so you do not miss um, the notification on when I upload those next videos that are part of this credit series. That is it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Happy savings.